Hi everyone and welcome. I am Tim with Angel Tarot Card Readings by Tim. This is our weekly Angel Oracle Card Reading for Monday, June 20th through Sunday, June 26th. And this week I'm going to be working with the Goddess Guidance Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to pull one card from the Guardian Angel Tarot, also by Doreen Virtue. We'll be pulling cards from the uh, Eternal Crystals Oracle Card by Jade Sky, and then also the Chakra Insight Oracle Card Deck by Karen Sangster. So, let's go ahead and get us started, see what messages that want to come through. I've been told that uh, through them, through meditating, that this is going to be more of a take charge, manifesting type of week for us. This is Focused Intention by Dana, Diana, excuse me. And let's see. Because again, I keep hearing crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael's coming through with this too. So focus on your intentions on what your goals are for this week. This one all wants to come out. And this is uh, Lakshmi, Bright Future. like that a lot. Hope you all can see me a little bit clearer. I'm working with a high-def web camera. So, also the other good thing about that is that hopefully you will get more of a crystal clear picture. But yet at the same time, for me, not so good because you see every line and wrinkle that I have too. So, oh well. <laughs> And then uh, Kaylee endings and beginnings. So, okay. So we've got uh, Diana focused intentions. We have Lakshmi, bright future, and Kaylee endings and beginnings. So this is about a cycle, okay? Uh, Diana says keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark, okay? Uh, Lakshmi for bright future says stop worrying. Everything's going to be just fine. And then Kaylee is saying, uh, with endings and beginnings, the old must be released so that the new can enter. Now, with all of this together, you know, because they're saying that the the movement that we're making, if we feel like we're stuck and we're not getting anywhere, it's because these endings need to occur, and these are past. This is something from your past that's brought to your present, that has been a part of your present from last week, last month, even last year for some of you, that you're still holding on to. So we're trying to get from here to here, but we can't get here until we've cut some ties over here, if that makes any sense for you. It says that we need to stop worrying. And again, going back with the crystal clear intentions with Archangel Michael's energy coming in along with the goddesses, is that what we focus on is what we get. So if we're worrying, if we are chronically waking up in the middle of the night, I, I feel some of you that, that you have been experiencing that and worrying about that this isn't going to work out. And I'm here, I'm seeing a house for one of you. Uh, trying to buy one right now, and you're very worried that that's not going to go through. This is saying not to do that. Focus on seeing that sold sign in the yard, seeing you signing the paper, that agreement, that contract. And that's where you put your energy rather than, oh, the money's going to fall through, or they're going to change their mind. Focus on what we want rather than what we don't want. So the... Um, with Kaylee, with endings and beginnings, the old must be released so that the new can enter. This is so much about cutting those cycles and letting them go. This, and this is a chapter closed for some of you. This can also be, you know, I, I know I mentioned home for one of you watching this, but this can be life changes too. This can be retirement for some of you. This can be... Um, Really finally making that decision to lose, you know, that 50 or 30 or 10 pounds or whatever it may be. But again, if we've been struggling with losing that weight and we haven't been doing it or we're not exercising or we're not eating right. But by gosh, for the last month, that's all we've been thinking about is, you know, I really need to get doing this. What's holding us back? What is it that needs to end? Why are we procrastinating? So... Think about that for this week. And with the Guardian Angel Tarot, this is the Two of Abundance. It says, life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. 
So you could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. So multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. So the two of abundance is the two of pentacles. And yes, this can mean actually working multiple jobs. But this is also what the focused intention is making sure we're not putting all of that energy into the job this week and not putting any energy to our desires and our dreams and what our focused intentions are. So we need to scale back on what can I let go of? What can I release as in regards to job wise? Can I, you know, can I take a vacation day this week? Can I find some time and, you know, shaving off some time in other areas to focus on what this intention, this goal, this desire that you want to manifest for this week? So that's the message for this two of abundance here. Now I want to get um, a message from the eternal crystals. I'm also hearing don't try and rush things this week too. And that's a little difficult to do when you're trying to juggle multiple projects. Trying to work over here and then run over here and do this job and be a mother or a father or a brother or a sister. And it's difficult. It's very tiring. I know that for a fact. That's why you didn't get your video last week because I had a lot of projects going on. I had something going on last Saturday, a full day, uh, eight hour uh, event. And then I also had a workshop that I did on Sunday. So unfortunately, I had to let some things go. I didn't want it to be the video. I was really hoping I'd get that out, but I didn't. So we have to set priorities on you know what it is that we that's going to keep us in balance so that we don't go, you know, hoo hoo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <gasps> okay. And you've got blue lace agate. This is communication. And this is with the throat chakra. So there could be communications coming into play. This is actually speaking up, uh, speaking your truth, and telling people what you want. This is, again, the focused intention. So you may need some outside help. You know, with the two of abundance, this is, you know, pairing up. This is another job, another person, per se. So you may need some extra help, is what I'm hearing with this. But this is also about now that you have these crystal clear intentions of what you do want, now you can communicate. Now you can communicate that to whomever it may need to be. And for you that's watching the, the home, this is your realtor telling them what, what specifically that you've been holding and biting your tongue about and now you're able to voice it as far as what you do want. And with the chakra insight, God, I'm drawn to this one here. I'm going to pull this one. And this is your base chakra, okay? Base chakra is money. This is home, okay? This is job. So this is totally about uh, being grounded, too, and making sure that you're safe and secure and those are things that are taken care of. Because that's what the base chakra is really representing. It's your job. It's family. It's money. It's all of your needs. You know, it's it's all of the things that we need for survival. So all of this here with the, fo the focused intention and the bright future, this can definitely be career changes for some of you. This can be home changes. This can also be because um, our health and our vitality, that also falls under the base chakra. This can also mean actually developing a new routine, a new exercise routine. But we have to really, we may need help with, from some other people to help us with our goal. So those are the messages for this week. I thank you so much for watching. If you would like a personalized reading from me, Tim, please give me a call. You can email me and I'll give you more details on how to get that reading done for you. Until then, have a wonderful week, everyone. And as always, angel blessings. Bye now.